and coal, no better. So when you look at Monsanto and you see all that they have done, it is not because they intended to cause harm, it's the model of business they're using is so proprietary and so exclusive to their own benefit that they can't appreciate the consequences. Capitalism. If, Capitalism. if we rewarded individuals for their achievements in a positive way, you would have none of the major corporations alive today. They'd all be dead. You would have nothing but empty apartments in all these buildings because these people don't make their money the honest way. I don't have any problem with you making all the money you want if you do it ethically, morally, and do not hurt animals, nature, or human beings. But please do not do this. If you are arrested, if you're arrested and you're arrested for jaywalking or you steal a piece of food, forever you're going to be labeled as a criminal. They broke hundreds of thousands of laws. They have settled hundreds of billions of dollars in lawsuits, and yet they have access to every seat of power. You never see someone who was the head of the corporation that gave us Vioxx, that killed more Americans in four years than all 58,000 Americans died in the Vietnam War. They got a raise, they paid a $5, million fine, $5 billion fine, and the value of their company went up. Where else but in America could you kill 60,000 Americans and get a raise? <laughs> that shows you what we've done. So when you see these people, they're never excluded. You see the New York Times quoting them. You see Wall Street praising them. You see popular magazines wanting to emulate their lifestyle. You and I, we're not trading on red carpets and showing people our Rolls Royces and yachts. We're not asking to be glorified. We don't have to exhibit some pathological behavior, but power creates pathological tendencies. Or people with pathological tendencies yes. seek power. The trouble is then that we do not have a 1% and a 99%. And those of you, how many of you listen to my radio show? Yeah. Well, the majority of you. <laughs> then you know my feeling on this. I was happy it became a, a comment that people would pay attention to. But when you buy their bread and you watch their television and you buy their clothes and you drive their car and you shop in their stores and put their money in their banks and use their credit cards and then you pay for their student loans, then you're a part of them. We wouldn't have a 1% unless we empowered them with our economics and our politics. I voted for Ralph Nader, Jill Stein, not the Democrat or the Republican. They are the pathology. They are the disease. Enough of this psychopathic behavior and grandiizing it because they think there's only two ways of looking at truth. The left corporatized, the right corporatized, the real liberals excluded, the real conservatives excluded, and therefore none of the independent thinkers ever have a chance to share their points of view. So they tell us there's only one point of view, ours. No, ours count. We have hundreds of millions of people who are independent thinking. If you put all corporate Democrats Registered Democrats and Republicans, they equal only about 41%. We represent 48%. All we have to do is organize ourselves, work together, cooperate with one another, cooperate on genetic engineering, and boycott them. Cooperate on vaccines, and boycott them. Cooperate on the judge of our children, and stop it. Our children are not born of this generation with ADD and ADHD and all these other bipolar disorders. These are made up to sell drugs. Corporate America believes that all our value is, is that to be commodified. We are a commodity. And to the degree they can exploit us by first causing fear, insecurity, they create a national security state. They then take money. 56% of our tax dollars and spend it on private contractors to spy on us. Every one of our cell phones, every e-communication, probably 100 people here in these thousands are spying on us as if we're the enemy. Well, I happen to be an environmentalist. I fight for animal rights. I rescue animals. All my life I've been an activist. I've been in the trenches. And I'll tell you something. We have more of us today than ever before, including in the 1960s. We're going to wrap this up now. And I, by the way, we thank you for being patient. We realize they ran a little bit over. We're going to wrap it up right now.
So let us realize something. This only works today if you start pulling off the grid of everything that empowers the 1%. So you no longer are putting money in the people who find you in contempt. All right? So today, no more credit cards from their banks. No more food from their stores. No more clothes from their stores worth using labor, paying them 15 cents an hour in Bangladesh. From now on, make your choices from a spiritual, enlightened perspective. Thank you all.